All right, so we're against a cold, a cold, a cold bow, a cold bow, I guess. Uh, we're gonna go with d4, d4 for the final one here. D5, c4, takes. Okay. Uh, I've played many different ways against this. I think I'm just gonna play knight f3 though. Okay. Uh, let's go e4. Bishop takes c4 next move is the idea. <sighs> okay, he attacks the pawn. Um, I think we're just going to advance it. Win back the c4 pawn. So he gets a nice score for the knight, but I do get extra space in the center. So it's a, uh, it's, you know, it's a trade-off. It's a trade-off. He has to be a little bit careful, though, if bishop takes h7, kingside sacrifices, though. Okay, c5 is a good, good move here. Uh, I think we're just taking, though. Bishop takes, and I'll get castled. If he castles, I still have bishop takes h7, I believe. I believe I do. Actually, I don't. I don't have it here. Uh, Matty, at what rating stage do you expect to start losing your drawing games? Um, I've lost two games so far already. Um, unfortunately, <laughs> um, I've lost two games so far, and probably more around the... And they were both on time. Um, probably more around the, I'd say, 1900 range. Maybe there's some people that'll keep up with me, and like skill-wise, um, 19, 2000, somewhere in there. Um, for the moment, though, um, the games aren't too difficult at all. Uh, I'm going to go knight c3 here. Knight e4 maybe next move. Can I add you on chess.com? Yeah, click on the uh, chess.com logo below the stream there. That'll automatically add, uh, add me as a friend, or uh, add you as a friend for me. Um, so you can be a friend that way. All right, we're going to go knight e4, I believe. Attack this bishop. Ooh, excuse me. And I think we're just going to play knight to d6 check. Do we have to do it? No. Is it risky? Maybe a little bit. And we could also just play bishop f4, which is probably fine. Let's do this first. We'll do knight d6 check if we need to. Yeah, that was the one where you were checking the chat. Oh, okay. Um. <laughs> uh, oh, you. Yep. <laughs> Let's go. I think just rook c1 seems okay. Actually, a3. Keep the knight off b4. That's a little annoying. I'll play queen e2 next move. Ah, uh, okay. So g5 is a tricky, tricky one. I think he will actually be picking up the pawn. Hmm, that's a little annoying. I think he's actually going to pick up the pawn. I kind of, I, I didn't, hmm, I didn't notice the g5 was an idea after that. Okay, so he's picking up the pawn here, which is a little bit annoying, but not the end of the world by any means. I'm way ahead on development, so I am, uh, I'm not unhappy with my position. Just bishop e2. We'll play f4 at some point, open up the f file. He really doesn't want to castle kingside after these pawn moves. And, um... Okay, knight c3, no big deal. I don't want to let him get in f4 too easily, though. So f... Uh, I'm sorry, I'll, I'll play f4 pretty soon. If he plays bishop g5, I'll play f4. Uh, probably. I think that's the way to go. Um... Uh... So what's he going to do here? I'll play queen c2. Okay, he's trying to get in this f4 really bad. Trying to get in f4 really bad. Mm. I think I'll just play f3. I don't see the problem. Uh, 
I could also play like queen c2, knight there, check. Eh, let's play f3 though. I think this is fine. If he plays f4, I have bishop f2, so no big deal. If he captures, I'll play knight takes or bishop takes one of the two. Megatron is back. Okay, I'll accept your uh, your friend request as soon as I finish the challenge for the day and all that stuff. Um, if I take, he plays pawn takes. Uh, it's not a big deal though. Take take. This is going to look weird, but I think I'm actually going to offer a trade of queens. Um, I'm going offer a trade of queens. His pawns are somewhat weak. I have better development. His king's not going to get castled. So that's my idea here. Give me the Autobots to redestroy the world. Yeah. <laughs> Megatron. My name is Megatron. Megatron is back. Uh, okay, so we're playing rook takes down a pawn, but not a bad position. Knight to b5 is actually a big idea. Knight b5 to c7, or knight d5. Um, I guess other way, either way is possible. Eh, we gotta make a move quick though. Let's not let's not lose on time again. Knight c7 is the idea. Rook d5 is also possible. Maybe I should have played that instead. I guess I'll play it next move, rook d5. Uh, okay, I think we're going to play bishop e1. If he plays g3, I have h3. I think I'm fine. It's a little risky, though, for sure. Definitely a little risky, and I definitely am way behind on time, which is not good. I'll probably play b4 pretty soon, too. I need to get rid of this bishop so that my king has some space to move. <laughs> Knight c7, I mean, that's his, That's the big threat right now. I don't think he's got checkmate. I don't think so, not yet. Let's play b4 first to get rid of this guy. Yeah, so get rid of that guy for sure. Go back here. Play knight d6, hit the b7 pawn. Play knight takes b7 to win a pawn. Play knight c5 to hit the bishop. Take the bishop. Take this with check. He's actually almost getting checkmated. Check. Hit the knight. Take a free rook. And that's it. Okay, so we'll analyze this one uh, and see what was going on here. Uh, the opening's pretty... Decent by both sides. His c5 move is okay. The problem, though, he, he never gets castled, even though it is always a little risky to get castled. Um, see, he, he wins a pawn with g4. However, I don't panic at all. You know, he's up a pawn, no big deal. Um, the main thing is that he's behind on development and his king side's very weak. So, for a pawn, that's not a bad trade off, in my opinion. So, take, take here. Um, even here, I don't really think my position's too bad. I go there, f4, retreat, here, it's b4, there, take, take. Uh, he could play, let's see, after knight to b5, uh, here his best move was probably g3, threatening rook takes h2 checkmate. I was going to play h3, and I was a little bit curious if there was a checkmate here. Ooh, there might have been, actually. I guess I have to play king g4 here. Ooh, this could have been a really bad spot. Takes, check. Move, takes, g2. Oh, but maybe I get check here. Very complicated position. If he had played g3, that was what I was mainly worried about, was uh, 
Was G3 threatening mate? I have no time to go pick up the rook because then I get checkmate on H2. Um, so, king e7 though. Once this bishop disappears, then I'm not going to be checkmated anymore, and my position goes back to being pretty good. Pick up some pawns, um, check a couple times, pick up a full rook, and it's, it's pretty much over here. Am I rooting for the Tampa Bay Lightning? Yeah, definitely. Uh, definitely for the Tampa Bay Lightning. Go Florida. <laughs>